people came out of their rafts. And they're trying to catch them. I don't know if they got everybody out or not. Did they get that last guy out? I don't know. The whole raft flipped. a look at the river today it is way up I'm not sure if you could see in the video where I just posted it where the raft had flipped over and they were trying to get people out some of the rip the rafters over there um, that had come out of the raft It was posted when we drove in. No swimming today because the river is up too high. There's another raft coming down now. Let's see. Hopefully they'll do better than the last one and they'll make it. That was pretty intense. Like all my nurse instincts kicked in, but I had Gabe, so I couldn't just like run um, and help them. They had everybody out but one, from what I could tell. And it looks like they got the last one out right before they came out from under the bridge here that we're standing on. Okay, so they're taking out, it looks like, right there. They're not going through this. Which, to me, seems like a very smart thing because that is... Some pretty intense rapids right here below us. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. New camera, you guys, so it's pretty intense. But you guys may not realize how tough these river guys actually have it. It seems like it would be like a really fun job, you know, just thinking about it. But these people are working their tails off to make sure that all their passengers are safe. I give them kudos. If you're a river guy out there, major props to you. You guys are amazing at what you do. Awesome. See, they're going to go for it, it looks like. and I'm not even in the water. Let's go back to this side. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy with the back and forth. And we are at the Okoye Olympics um, from 1996. We are at the actual track that they used for those Olympics. So this will kind of give you an idea uh, this is rafts and they I believe they went down on kayaks I'm not sure if there was rafting also but wow this is really intense and this is just a tiny bit of this river we have some going on further down over here now I 
think this may be the more intense part of this river as far as rafting and kayaking goes. I'll see if it's not too crowded when we're leaving. Um, we will stop and show you another put in that is below this class level of rapids and show you what they go down. It's, it's really intense for that too. Hey guys, so if you haven't figured it out, we are back in Okoy, Tennessee today at the Whitewater Center. Not at the actual center, but where they had the Olympics. We're gonna go and hit this trail that we tried last time. We have the baby jogger with us this time, so we're gonna let you guys actually see the trail. Okay, here's the trail that we're taking. We tried this once before, but Gabe kept trying to run off of the side. So, baby jogger, husband, puppy, let's see. See what the trail is actually like this time. There's a bridge that over the wow well, that goes over the river. Some really pretty views from over here. There's somebody's paddle way out there. Can't see the water from there. I'll show you guys. And that's the end of that bridge. So it is important to note that they do have a recreation fee here, which is three dollars. I'm really not sure if that's for like the campsite or if it's just a fee to get into the the um, national forest or what, because they do have campsites, and it asks you on the envelope uh, what day you're coming in, what day you're leaving out, how many campsites. So I'm inclined to believe it's like three dollars for a campsite. But I'm really not sure. So you can check that out. Yeah, I'm sure it's on their website. You can pay uh, via internet. Uh, they have a little QR code that you can scan to pay. Or you can pay traditional cash like we do. There's like a really nice view. Most of the way on the trail of the river. As you're going down through here. There have been a few. Like here's another one. I think this is the second little bench that we've passed. A little rest area. Haven't seen any bathrooms. Of course, there's a um, porta potty and a bathroom at the parking area. So the trail is only 1.25 miles each way. So hopefully, you won't need a potty. Okay, I did want to point out that while we do have Gabe's jogger with us and it seems to be doing okay, I'm not sure I would bring a wheelchair. Um, there were a couple of places where it kind of dips down and then back up a few rocky places but my main concern would be some of the bridges there's several wooden bridges with like overlooks that you can pass um, that when you go off of one side of it it's a pretty like sorry I have I have <laughs> I have dog poop in my hand um, there is a a gap about this big between the bridge and the actual walkway so it may be a little tougher to get that like get the wheelchair back up that walkway onto the bridge sorry I'm out of breath and I can't I can't think when I can't breathe <laughs> I know we have come I think to the end of this trailhead let me flip this camera around here This is where it comes out. A power station.
That's a pretty shot though. David and Bailey have left us. This is TVA, Hakoi number three. Um, we're gonna go over here and see what this uh, sign says here. It does say something along the lines of Thunder Rock Campground is up here to our left. Check out that pipe, guys. I think it's huge. I'll walk over here and show you how big around it is in just a second. This is a Koei number no. three powerhouse built in 1941. Um, it says length of tunnel from dam to powerhouse is 2.46 miles. We'll see you. If we can get this to hopefully you guys can read that sorry if I'm shaky I'm using my left hand and holding the dog with the right <laughs> kind of feels like I know I'm going too fast if you like to pause and read it but from my view it looks like we're doing a uh, Star Wars uh, intro and there is the river it flows through and where all the dams are. It says it's a remote controlled power project. It's pretty cool. I wish we could look in there, but restricted area, so we're not going to do that. Let's go over here and check out this pump before we head back over to the kiddo. Looks like there used to be some rail cars running through here. And right here is this pipe. It is freaking massive, man. I'm not even gonna guess how wide it is, but check that out. It goes all the way up through there. Big water tower up there. And to my right, that's where the other campground and stuff is, which looks like it just wraps around the side of the building there. All right, let's head back with them. Not sure if Denise said or not, but it does say caution. Black bears are active in this area. Thankfully, we haven't seen one for the sake of Gabe, because I'm sure he'd try to go after it, but it would be cool to see one. Um, it's been a while since I've ran into one while hiking. Here's some of the things Denise was talking about on the way through. I'm try to get a couple of them. A little stream here. And pardon my spin on you guys. This is where it leads to this was part of the area that I was talking about might be difficult for wheelchairs it's just the off-centered rocks but like I'm having to put some effort into getting Gabe over it in this jogger so that might be a little bit harder for a wheelchair and like David said it probably just depends on the wheelchair and we're coming up on some more of the rocky areas that I mean if you have a strong pusher you may be fine and just a regular wheelchair there's another little stream it's not that pretty on that side now also note some of these bridges do have damage so watch your step on that here is another one of the benches. This is the first one that you come to. And I'm going to guesstimate this is about the halfway mark. So a bench about halfway and then a bench toward the end. But there's a nice little view if you want to relax, take a break. And it has another bridge right here that has a little stream at it. It runs down under the bridge and then over here and down to the river. And Gabe has the right idea. Drinking his water. He's got his water, his juice, and his Doritos. There's a little waterfall up there. And of course it again comes down underneath the bridge this one see what it looks like over here a little prettier than the other what baby you got it made don't you 
got your Cheetos, and your water, and your juice, and he has a fan. Is it like a mushroom? I have no idea. I don't have internet, so I can't tell you. Okay. I've never seen that before. This is what he's talking about. It's crazy looking. It almost looks like it's going to come alive. Like something from a scary movie. The Blob. Part 10. Because I don't know how many there already are. We did a um, timer when we left from the end of the trail, so we would know how long it took us to get back. But as you saw, we've stopped a few times. So the time won't be accurate, but it'll give you a little bit of an idea. I'm gonna sound completely crazy. I'm gonna sound completely crazy right now. Apparently there's something on me. You guys, should I be screaming? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. I don't know if it's stinging or not. Ah, not yet, he says. But what I was going to say about sounding crazy, you know how I'm nervous. I'm paranoid. Let's see this. This is why I said I was going to sound crazy. That right there makes me feel like I'm in the jungle book. I don't know, is that like, like pond cones? He has an app that shows him what it's things some are. Some kind of magnolia. Some kind of magnolia. magnolia. Okay, I feel like something is climbing on me. Where? Like, wherever you got that off. Oh, that's fine. Is it in my shirt? No, it was on the ground. I watched it hit the ground. Okay. Really paranoid now, you guys. I feel like I got stuff crawling on me. I didn't feel it when it was actually there, but now that it's not there, I feel it. Oh, nature. What are you trying to do to me? So this is the area where I was talking about. It goes up and down. It may get a little rough for a wheelchair. It's rough for a stroller. I'm going to have to use some muscle here. So I'm going to stop and turn this off while I get him up. Okay. And you see, that's why I don't like bees. What did you just say? It was a bee carrying the leg of another insect or a hornet. I'm allergic to hornets. Guess who forgot her EpiPen for this trip? I have to double, blah, blah, blah. I have to carry double EpiPen, so it's a two pack in case I get stung by a hornet while I'm out in nature and my EpiPens are at home. When you're in this area, you have no cell service. So let's just keep deferring that I don't get stung by a hornet. So I feel like I should just stand here and be like, on this week's episode of Lost in the Woods, where has my husband gone? You guys see him? I don't see him. He keeps finding these random plants and insects, mushrooms, blobs of orange that he stops to take photos of for his app just so he can learn more about what things are, which is great considering his major is wildlife management. Um, I know he needs to know all these things, but I really, really, really am ready to go. Gabe dropped his bus. So yeah, if you have any questions about fungus among us, trees and leaves and bugs, I think he can help you out. He still hasn't caught all the way up.
timing is going to be way, way off when we get up here. I'm going to say to duck at least five minutes from the time. Or I may deduct five minutes from the time before we tell you guys what it was. Okay, and I believe this is the last little stream, little waterfall, which technically is the first when you go in. That's what it looks like. Gabe was rolling away. I didn't hit his lock. Ah, bad mom. Bad mom moment. He's still taking pictures of stuff. We have made it back to the starting point of the trail. So, total of two and a half miles. It wasn't a horrible hike. Again, I've made several comments um, for people in wheelchairs just because I know there's not a lot of information out there about um, stroller friendly wheelchair accessible trails uh, we we look constantly because we like to have him in his jogger in case it's a trail like this one where he um, can run off the side so we try to give you guys that information as we get it as we learn it we're experimenting for you guys uh, so definitely there's several bicycles on this trail, several hikers. Um, it does say horses are not allowed, but again, wheelchair is kind of a 50-50. Um, if you have a wheelchair that has larger wheels, kind of like this jogger, it has the kind of like bicycle tires on it. So if you have bigger tires like that, I would say go for it. You know, just make sure that the person pushing you does have some strength and endurance because it is two and a half miles. Um, there's some uphill, downhill, but it's not a very steep incline at all. It's more of a long, gradual incline. So, I mean, neither of us are in shape. So, if we can do it, I'm sure that most people can handle it no problem. Okay, so we have finished up from our little hike today. It took us about 35 minutes uh, one way. Uh, so about an hour, 10 hour, 15 minutes both ways. Um, it was fun. Uh, very humid. It was like a rainforest here in Tennessee. But anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, live the life you love.